up YouTube, it's Jameson and welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to do a different type of video. I got a new setup and I wanna show you guys it cause I've been saving up for it for a long time and it's finally almost complete. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've been up to and how it looks. So what I'm gonna do is explain each thing on the desk, tell you how much it costs, where I got it from, stuff like that. So let's get started. So first we're going to start with one of the most important parts of the setup and that's my chair. I got this chair back in late April for $80 on Wayfair. It has adjustable height, pillows for neck and back support, and it reclines pretty far back which I think I mentioned in this video. I got a new chair. It's... Can your chair do that? It's pretty comfortable. Best way I could describe it is it feels like a leather car seat which is kind of the point. But anyway on to the next thing. Another very important part of any setup is the thing actually holding your stuff, which is the desk. I just recently got this desk a few days ago from Amazon. This desk was $70 and it has built-in LED lights on the side, an included mouse pad, a cup holder, a headphone holder, it's wrapped in carbon fiber, and it includes a cable holder. On the headset stand is a Razer Kraken gaming headset for $65 on Amazon. I've only had this desk for three days at the time of this recording, but so far, I love it. Now it's time for the fun stuff, the items on the desk. Before you get excited, I'm going to start with the stuff on the side going from left to right. The DualSense controller that I got all the way back on November 4th on Amazon for $70. I wanted to go ahead and get an extra controller for the PS5, but obviously my subscribers with the PS5 or just people that are trying to get it right now know it's still impossible to get it. It sells out in seconds. So I might have to just get the new Xbox instead and sell the controller because those are in stock way more. Next thing is a coin bank, silver coins only, just so when it fills up, it has more value. I don't remember when I got this, but when I did get it, it was 10 bucks. Next is a pencil holder because this is also where I do my homework. You can literally get pencils anywhere for like five bucks. The next thing is an iPhone stand and an iPhone charger so I can charge my phone while it's on the stand. The stand was seven bucks on Amazon. I already had the iPhone charger, but it's like $20 on the Apple website. Now on to the right side, starting with the hand sanitizer, which you can get anywhere for three bucks. The box that my red controller was in, obviously one of my controllers come with the console, but the red one was $60. And the dual controller charger I got from Amazon for $24 recently. It comes with two rechargeable batteries that you put in the battery slot in the back of the controller. It claims to have a 40 hour battery life. I don't know in which circumstance somebody would need to play video games for 40 hours straight but there's always that one person in the world that's probably done it i've had no issue with this so far and i would highly recommend it now on to the part that you've been waiting for the middle of the desk i'm gonna start from the top down i got this 24 inch 1080p 144 hertz monitor back in summer 2020 which allows me to display games up to 120 frames per second with an next-gen console of course or like a pc it's not available anymore on amazon but at the time it costed 160 dollars directly below the monitor is a 17 dollar bluetooth speaker connected to the monitor because the monitor doesn't have any built-in speakers which explains the price considering the fact that monitors like that are usually like 200 to 250 dollars to the sides of the speaker are the lebron james and rocket funko pops that were both gifts i don't know how much they costed under the speaker and pop figures is a monitor stand that I got pretty recently because my chair was so high that I was looking down at my monitor when playing games. It was only like $18 on Amazon. Under the stand are physical copies of NBA 2K20 and 21. Literally my only physical games. Having mostly digital games is way easier than having to like take out and put back CDs into the console every time you want to play something new. And last but not least, my Xbox One S that I got for Christmas normally costs like $300, probably at least $50 less now that the new generation of consoles are out hopefully this will be an xbox series s slash x or a playstation soon if you're wondering why it isn't under the stand it's because of the vent on top of the xbox if i put it under the stand the airflow wouldn't be as good and it would end up overheating my console which is pretty unfortunate because it looks way better under the stand well guys that completes the setup tour let me know if there's something that you think i should get that would look good on my setup because i'd love to get other people's input sorry my upload schedule has been off obviously school comes first so i've been pretty busy with that but i'll try to amp it up a bit anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys very soon